Welcome back to Project Castaway, everybody. Today, we are going to go to where the sun meets the sea. It's currently 1.29 p.m. Where's the sun? It's over there, and it's going down in that direction. So we're going to go that way on that, and hopefully we can find whatever we're looking for. Uh, I'm not doing a face cam today because uh, my room's a mess. I'm a mess. It's fine. We'll be all right. I might start doing more of these without a face cam because uh, the face is funny looking and nobody wants to see that. So let's go ahead, take off in this direction, see if we can find whatever it is that we're supposed to be looking for, which I believe is the deciphering book. Deciphering book, yes, where the sun meets the sea. We're going past this island now. We're going, taking it kind of easy. I keep getting stuck, so. But there's the sun. So it's going to be going down that way so we're just going to kind of line this up once we're around the island and just go i'm hoping that it's this way because this is where the sun meets the sea not where the sea meets the sun so i assume that it's whenever it sets and not whenever it rises so yeah let's just sail off in this direction and see what we can find sorry i gotta keep myself entertained so we're really far away from the uh the island there with the lighthouse on it I'm still not seeing anything. I don't know how far we gotta go, but I'm just gonna keep going, I guess. The sun's right in these clouds here, so we're still going in the correct direction. I I mean, correct as in what I assume is the correct direction. So we've been going for about 20 minutes in, or in, re in real life, real time. It says only two minutes in the top right hand corner of the screen though, because uh, the game's time is kind of weird. We haven't found anything yet. Nothing at all. So I, 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 I think that we might need to go the other way because I seriously doubt that it's that far out. Luckily, I saved right before this. So I'm just going to reload and go back to the island because I don't want to spend 20 minutes going back the other direction. So uh, yeah, we'll be back once we reach the... Uh, once we're back on the island. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see you in a second. So here we are again. Off in the distance. You can't see any of the islands behind us. And nothing in front of us. I don't really know what to do. Danny, if you're reading this, I'm gone. I found something unbelievable, but it's too risky to explain here. I had the deciphering book where the sun meets the sea. Use the GPS satellites to track it down. The island's secrets are beyond anything we imagined, and Mordenpole disturbed something ancient. Be careful, my friend. The truth is out there, but not it's not without danger. Where the sun meets the sea. And it says use this. But the only thing it's tracking is my GPS dongles back at base. All right, well, uh, I decided to come back to the island because, um, yeah, we can't find anything out in the ocean. I'm really hoping that it's not a sunken thing because there's no, there's nothing that I saw that would indicate that there was something out there that was sunken. But it also said use the GPS locator. So I'm wondering if it is on that island. The GPS trackers were on top of the island next to the body. So I wonder if we just missed it and it's over there somewhere. I guess let's just go back to that island there and take a look. So we're back up here where we found the, the GPS trackers. I was hoping that maybe like his hand was pointing towards the direction of something, but uh, the one hand is not, and that's what was holding one of the GPS trackers. This one's just gone. So maybe it's somewhere around here. I think we've looked all over this, but it's, it's. I just I just don't know where, where to look for this stuff at, man. I just don't know, I just don't know. Okay, well, I mean, I swam around the island to see if there was like an underwater cave. I didn't see anything, but this whole cliffside here, I'm wondering if, there's like a cave on this and I feel like I've searched it before, but maybe not good enough. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, I just like going off of like instinct of where I think, oh gosh, just fell through that rock, uh, where I, it could possibly be. I just feel like we're missing something. I'm wondering if like the game needs reset because like a lot of stuff was added after we started playing and I'm wondering if because of what we've already done, if we can't actually complete it, which would make this really really upsetting because it's taken us a long time to do all this. I really just don't want to, I don't want to have to restart. And I really hope that, uh, that there's a way to complete this. So here we are on a new world, a new generation. And guess what? Everything is different. There must be an issue with the updates and the saves to where whenever they release the update and move stuff around, it doesn't update old saves because that island there used to be out there. That was different before. That island right there wasn't there before. So guess what? We're gonna start fresh. I've already been around this entire island 
and I've already found all of the bottled notes. So there's 30% of those. Found all the escape stuff. We got all the the cassette tapes as well as the repair manual for the book or for the plane. And then we've got 25% of the radio tower notes already as well. I've already searched everything. Everything should be gotten off the island here. We've got Wilson. We've got the necklace. We've got the ancient lantern and the bronze shield. Uh, we got a bed and a dead Komodo dragon because he tried to attack me. I don't really know exactly how I want to do this because since we're starting fresh, I'll probably just take you guys along for the journey, the entire thing, because since everything's new, uh, all of the notes that I've looked through actually are, are the exact same. Those are the same. So I guess, you know, I guess what we're going to do is just set up a small little base. Let's make this one a little bit different now that I kind of know what I'm doing. So let's make a, we need a hammer, right? To be able to build. Let's move back inland a little bit. It'll make it way easier to actually do stuff because all the trees are over here and last time I built over there. Let's build a self something, something, something in here. Something like right in here, yeah. Well, first let's clear out a little area. First, that, that, that makes the most sense, right? Right, right, let's just do that. Okay, so we got the basic uh, structure down, or the floor. We got a little bit of uh, foliage coming through that we can't get rid of, but you know, that's okay. We can get underneath, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put down a bed, an actual bed. We're gonna elevate bed here. We'll do it kind of at an angle just to, you know, yeah. I need to make rope, right? Which means I need to make a spinning wheel. Spinning wheel, there we go. We will just, uh, you know, put this over here. Put that in there, we'll go grab a metal sheet. Hopefully there's one right over here. I believe there is, yes, cool. Grab that. We'll just grab all these just in case. We'll keep them up here. But yeah, I mean, a fresh start's kind of cool. I kind of like the fact that we get a fresh start. It's kind of frustrating because we've done so much already. At least we kind of know what we're doing. And we've already ran through this entire island and did everything in about 20 minutes. So what we'll do is we'll build up the base. Then we'll start heading out to each island. And since we can actually see where everything's at on the islands, we'll do one island at a time. So we're not doing multiple missions all at the same time. We can do one at a time. So yeah, we'll do, we'll do each of those individually. So hopefully everything's like, you know, done in development so we can actually complete those. So we've got the bed, got that. We need stairs. We'll probably put a, a door back here somewhere, maybe like right here. Stairs, boop. Stairs there and, oh, is that too high? So we're not gonna be able to put stairs on the front. Okay, so we need two logs, which I have some over here where we chopped down some trees earlier to get some coconuts. Grab these, cool. And I'm just gonna do a single story. Let's go ahead and just add the walls. Yeah, I can't put anything there. Oh, is it because that's blocked? Oh, no, don't do this to me. Window. Window. Window that way. Then we'll just do normal ones this way. Yeah, it will not let me put one there. Well, that sucks. I assume it's because of this. And I don't think we can take that down. No, we can't. So we need 27 palm fronds and a ton of sticks. Okay, so that is complete. We're still gonna need to figure out what to do here. Not really sure, but we'll, we'll try something. We'll, we'll figure it out. We got a view right there. Obviously we couldn't put the stairs there. We'll get the roof on this eventually. What I'm gonna do next is try to find that submarine around here and go and uh, search it, get all that stuff out of there. And then uh, we'll come back and put the roof on this bad boy. Okay, cool. So the submarine is in the same spot, so that's good. I forgot what we need to get into here. Uh, yes, so we can just hit it with this. Cool. No sharks, no sharks, please. There we go. Get some breath. Oh, package, package, package. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Dive, please. Please dive. There we go. Diving in this is so strange. Microprocessor, we'll take that. Silver ingot, that's different. Radio tower repair manual. Bronze axe. Um, great, I can't, uh, can't drop it. Silver spear. You know what? We'll come back for those. So we got a good spear, so it's 100%, and the bronze axe is also 100%. Cool, so that'll help us out a little bit. Oh, another thing I wanna do before we stop, I need to make just a little tiny raft so next time we can go out and explore. Oh, ran right into it. It blends in so well. Look at that. My idea for this though, I think I might remake this here. So let's do a different bed. We don't really need the elevated bed. I don't really think it matters. So we'll just do this here. We'll put this right here just to have it. So let's try this now. Let's see, do, 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 do. No, still can't do it. Lame, 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 lame. Oh, I could do that. That won't really help. 
that. I'm very upset that this is going to be open right there. That's really tragic, to be honest. And I don't want to redo this whole thing. We'll put that there, though. Let's try it one more time to try to get this wall up. I'm just going to slam the button, see if we can get it to go up. I don't really know what I just did, but I did something. <laughs> what did I do? Why did it go there? It went like in the middle of this. Interesting. Yeah, that's not, that's, that's not where we want that at. Can I cancel this? Did I break it? Uh oh, I think I broke it. <laughs> no, no, I can't, I can't add anything or cancel anything. Oh no, why did I do that? So the base is complete. We had to move it because all of the stumps back here were keeping me from being able to build certain things. So I moved it forward here. So now we are on the beach, kind of. We're facing the beach, but we're still close to where we were before. Just maybe, eh, maybe 25, 30 feet forward. Anyway, this is what I went with. We've got a little deck out front, which I'll finish off later. I'll add some uh, some railings and things like that. We found some surfboards. But yeah, we built uh, the little tiny raft here. It'll be our little starter raft again. Next episode, we'll go out to one of the islands. Uh, there's one over there then that I don't, it doesn't look familiar. But for now, this is our, this is our little base, probably more space than we're going to need. But yeah, so there's that. Um, it's unfortunate that we had to restart, but I'm glad that we did because now we know that everything's different. So we will continue the journey and um, we'll go from island to island again. But this time, since we can actually find the things with the display on the HUD, um, the notes and stuff like that, hopefully we'll be able to complete each island as we go to them and actually figure out the story. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.